Seus, Lucifer matutinus inveniat. Ile, in quam Lucifer quinescit ocasum, Christus filius tuus, qui regressus ab inferis, humano generis serenus iluxit, et tecum vivit et regnat in secula seculorum. This is the last day of the Pope's visit. Now, since he's been here, he's said and done a lot of things. But the thing that stuck out to me the most is something he said during, I guess it was a mass, where he came out and said that the life of Jesus ultimately ended in failure, in the failure on the cross. I have the transcript here. This is reported by ABC News. And it says, in part, the cross shows us a different way of measuring success. Ours is to plant the seed. God sees the fruit of our labors, and if at times our efforts and work seem to fail and not produce fruit, we need to remember that we are followers of Jesus Christ and his life, humanly speaking, ended in failure, the failure of the cross. Then he went on to talk about the dangers of being uh, comfortable with uh, surroundings and things such as that, which is a whole nother topic in and of itself. But he says the failure of Jesus, the failure of the cross, even though the Bible clearly states that Jesus knew what was going to happen to him as uh, far as the cross was concerned, how he is going to lay his life down. He even said, Lord, if it is your will, take this bitter cup from me, but not your will, but not my will, your will be done. And particularly we know this when we look at John 17 and 18. Therefore doth my father love me because I laid my life down that I might take it again. No man taketh it from me, but I lay it down myself which is to say nobody took his life from him on the cross. He laid it down willingly. He knew what was going to happen to him. So to say that his life in general, the cross in particular, was a failure is something I'm very disappointed to see from a supposed spiritual leader. Alex and Leo, check this out. When the Pope spoke before the United Nations, he says, I come in my own name and in the name of the Catholic community. Well, check out John 5:43. I am come in my Father's name, and you receive me not. If another shall come in his own name, him you will receive. I Whoa, out exactly. I He's like following stuff I've read in like serious, you know, FBI criminology reports about Satanism. What the real Satanists do is they... They blaspheme and change everything that's key in the Bible. So he says, Christ failed at the cross. The cross is a failure. The Secretary General, the Secretary -General of the United Nations has invited the Pope to address this distinguished, distinguished assembly of nations. Of nations. In my own name and that of the entire Catholic community. Repeat that again. Yes, the very first remarks out of his, his mouth, the translator will say it. I flipped out, Alex. I, he says, I come to you in my own name, in the name of the Catholic community. He did not come in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. I never saw him do the sign of the cross while he was here, any of that stuff. This guy is an imposter. Here it is. Thank you for your kind words once again, following a tradition which I feel honored, the Secretary General of the United Nations, the Pope, to address the Distinguished Assembly of Nations in my own name and that of the entire Catholic community. Wow, so he said, in my name, not in Christ's name. I am come in my Father's name, and you receive me not. If another shall come in his own name, him you will receive. The Secretary General, the Secretary -General of the United Nations has invited the Pope to address this distinguished assembly of nations. In my own name and that of the entire Catholic community. So there he said it, in my own name and in the entire Catholic community, that's who he's coming in the name of. He's not saying he's coming in the name 
of God or the Father or Jesus Christ or the Holy Spirit. He's just keeping it to him. So he's personalizing. 